Hello, this is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about this timesheet app that I'm doing. Uh, the idea with the timesheet app uh, is that somebody can log in, they can, uh, they've got a, a heads up on this is sort of a dashboard at the moment, very limited, and it just says the total hours for the three projects that are actually in here. There's an expense area here such that you can add some expenses um, on, the, on the project, on the date, and amount and then to whom and then any other info and then you can add those ones through there there's the idea that you can actually add onto a calendar so within the app you can get an appointment and you can actually just bang that appointment straight into that now the reason i've got that in the calendar is that maybe you're also booking time at the same point in time and i'll talk about that very briefly in it shortly um, that you'd at the same time you're just in the same app and you just add something to the calendar now in the calendar if you actually just go back to your uh, if you've got a google calendar and they're easy to make you just come into the settings and you go down to um, calendar embed calendar through here but if we look at the embed code through here you'll see that the width of it is 800 by 600 in the actual app itself you actually have to go through and take the uh, reduce the width down so that it fits onto a, um, a, a smaller screen so that, that it is actually viewable um, so this one you can get to the weeks tab you can get to the month tab and there's another one which is a sort of a listing tab there as well so you can get to that and do some stuff so I think I'd say because it's small enough you just do a weekly tab and sort out some things there so that's the idea with the calendar I haven't done the push into the calendar yet but the intention is to do that on the timesheet here I've set up the timesheet as to how I would use a timesheet. Now, as a, how I'd use a timesheet is I'd say, okay, then it's a day and a month, and it's a 12. Now, I would also normally work on which project have I been working on, and I'd actually choose a project, and I'd have an activity, whether it was... Now, if I'd... Sometimes I'd have an all-day activity, so I would just say um, design... Um, we're in the design phase, or the design prelim um, scheme to on the project so you've got an activity um, I could do a total of hours for it say I just worked regular hours and things like that and just took lunch so I said four in the morning four in the afternoon half an hour lunch I just put eight hours there or I can actually put an a.m. and a p.m. in here so I can actually put an 8 a.m. or 8 15 a.m. but since it's actually you can also have a 24 hour clock you can actually just put eight but you've got to use the colon at this point in time and let's say 12 so you started at 8 12 and in the number this is the lunch thing for the lunch you actually have to and that's wrong in there as well uh, so if you say I had one a, a, a half an hour lunch I would say on this a quarter of an hour lunch I'd have to put um, uh, 0.25 as in that's a quarter of an hour of a one and then for the for logging out I'd actually have 5 15 p.m. Um, which I'm going to try now 5 colon 15 p.m. or you could put 17 15 and that should work so I'm trying to do different ways here and then we'll just add so I want to go onto the timesheet and I want to watch want you to watch what happens in these sheets here now when I go add it brings them through and they'll be unformatted and then it formats them so I've actually had to go through and put in a bit of script through here which just takes the column A2 to A so it just reformats the whole column and that is done on an on change so that is format columns and basically I've got a f um, trigger through there which is that particular code format columns in the spreadsheet on change and then there's the native army daily so that's what that trigger there is doing for me um, I've got a, a few things that I'm doing every time I'm adding a new line it's not doing my total so I've got to copy down my formula for the total I've got to copy down my um, uh, formula for my uh, display and the display is really so that I can if I'm uh, in another area I can give an explanation of a bit more information on that particular stuff and uh, it's also pulling down my totals and that's a formula there's a few formulas if it's under that project 
then at the hours, if it's not under that project, don't add anything at all. So that, that project happens to be um, the first one. So the hours are booked to that, so they're not booked to the other two. So there's an F column there. And then the other thing that I can do in timesheets is sometimes with the timesheet, I just do the total hours. So I have a total hour coming through there. So my um, sum formula is if that cell there isn't empty, um, calculate it from that minus that um, minus that. Now the other thing that I just want to tag with you just as a point of interest um, is um, adding and subtracting dates. If you've got a date there and that's 8 a.m. and that's 6 p.m. if we actually just do that um, uh, delete and if we go that's equal to that minus that it gives you this odd number and basically that's based on 24 hours so to actually get that to make to mean anything you've actually got to take those two um, items there and multiply them by 24 and then that just says that's a percentage of 24 hours so that's what that um, uh, 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 0.42 is it's 10 so it's 40 percent of 24 hours um, so if I did 8 which would be 12 then you can see it's 0.5 of 24 hours so it's 12 hours um, so they're just little things that I've been learning inside Google Sheets which are a little bit of an oddity as to the way that it's managing a few different things like times like dates like um, things and just getting the formatting through so to get around that I've been using the functions and I've been using the triggers so I hope that's been of interest to you thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it can you please put a thumbs up on the video thank you